Hello, I'm Ami Hossein Tikhorshid. Our paper is about face mask wearing condition detection using SST MobileNet. After the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, various smart systems were developed to control its spread. Wearing a face mask and maintaining social distancing are two essential preventive measures for controlling this disease. So, it's helpful to develop monitoring systems that determine the observation status of these two protocols. The identification of sick people can also help prevent its spread. So, systems have been developed to classify patients. For example, some of these systems classify sick people by voice, voice processing and some others identify them based on their body temperature. In this paper, we've developed a system to detect the face mask wearing condition of people. Face mask detection systems are generally divided into two categories, two class and three class face mask detection systems. In the two class systems, the people in the picture are divided into only two groups, with and without face masks. These systems are somewhat useful, but incorrect face mask wearing is also common and ignore it, ignoring it can make it difficult to control the disease. In the three class methods, the incorrect face mask wearing class is also detected. Due to the significant similarity between incorrect and correct face mask wearing classes, it's difficult to distinguish them, and this makes three class systems more complicated than two class systems. Machine learning and deep learning methods are used for these problems. However, classical methods only cannot achieve deep learning methods accuracy, so they are used along with deep learning based methods as classifiers. However, for three class systems, only deep learning based methods have been used due to the complexity of this task. SSD and YOLO perform well for two class face mask detection among object detection structures. Unlike other detection networks, these networks process image in a single shot which makes them faster than others. The speed and accuracy of object detection architectures for recognizing the face mask wearing condition into three classes are clear in the figure. By adding two states, the YOLO network which is called SEYOLO has reached the best mean average precision and highest speed in this task. But as the graph shows, SSD is the fastest, and due to the capabilities of this network and its lower accuracy than others for three class face mask detection, it seems this architecture's accuracy can be improved. So, this network is used as the core of this system. Also, MobileNet and ResNet are two widely used CNN networks that have performed well for feature extraction. Due to the high accuracy and lightness of the mobile net, we used it as classifier along with SSD. The block diagram of the proposed system is as follows. In the first stage, face masks found in boxes in the image are localized and classified into three classes. But the classification accuracy of this stage can be improved, especially for incorrectly face mask wearing. So, Another CNN network has been used as the second stage to increase the classification accuracy. And if higher accuracies are required, this stage is used. For training, we used the FMDD dataset, which consists of 853 images. This dataset is composed of images with a different number of people and high occlusions that can increase the generalizability of the network. However, the chart shows that this dataset, like other available datasets for three class face mask detection, is highly imbalanced. Training the neural network in a way that recognizes low frequency classes well is difficult. The incorrect mask wearing class constitutes less than 4% of this dataset, which makes, which makes it difficult to train the network in a way that doesn't ignore this class. Due to the small number of images, we use transfer learning to train the network. For better neural network performance, we use learning rate scheduling to make the model well away from 
the previous state. The total loss function of the SSD mobile net consists of three main terms classification, localization, and regularization loss functions. Due to the imbalanced data set and the low number of images for incorrect face mask wearing class, the classification task is extremely challenging and the neural network may ignore this class. So we increased the coefficient of the classification loss function which makes the network pay more attention to this loss function and a further reduction in this loss usually occurs. Different loss functions coefficients were tested. The chart shows the best performance is for the model related to the third column, which used a variable learning rate and a coefficient of 2 for the classification loss function. The mean average precision of this model is 74% and its average recall is 82%. Although the SSD mobile net has achieved good accuracy compared to similar networks that have used several states, its, its classification performance can be improved. So, a CNN network has been used to reclassify the obtained bounding boxes. With using this stage, the bounding box, boxes obtained from the SSD are cropped and fed to the CNN network. Different structures have been tested for the second stage and the lightest one that provides the best accuracy has been selected. These networks consist of three convolutional and average cooling layers followed by three fully connected layers. Due to the variety of sizes, the input images are resized to the average size of the face bounding boxes before feeding to the network. The mentioned network was trained with a batch size of 128 for 200, 250 epochs. And also due to the limited data set, data augmentations such as rotation, shift, zoom, and horizontal flip have been used. Finally, the network reached 95.6% accuracy on the test dataset. The confusion matrix of the system for the test dataset is as follows. This chart compares the accuracy and the speed of the best three class face mask detection systems. The SRC net provides the best accuracy using four states. Also, the chart shows that proposed network has established a good trade-off between speed and accuracy. Finally, the system is implemented on Raspberry Pi 3 to control an entrance gate by a servo motor. This system can control an entrance gate and only people with the correct face mask coverage can pass through it. Raspberry Pi is a suitable choice among other embedded devices because of its internal camera and high processing power. This system can be implemented fully embedded on Raspberry Pi using SSD Lite, but in this case the frame rate drops below 1 frame per second, and it's practically impossible to perform other supplementary control commands. So, in the proposed system, an external system is used for image processing, and because of its high frame rate, the Raspberry Pi can apply some supplementary control commands to increase the system's reliability. Thank you for watching.